do a simple lab investigation that I've done with middle school students. It could even be done with elementary school students. Uh, we start simply by cutting out a circle out of a piece of paper, uh, something like this. And if we were to drop this, we want to watch and see how it falls. So let's do that. Well, we saw that flight wasn't very stable. So what I'd like to do is I'd like to change this slightly. We're going to start by drawing a line from the center to the outside. We're going to use a protractor to draw a, or to mark off a second line at 105 degrees. So here's our 105 degrees 105 degree angle inside this circle. I'm going to take some scissors, cut one of the lines. Now, the line that we cut, we're simply going to bring it over to the other line, like so. Take a piece of tape, tape it in place. And now we've taken that, that flat circle and made it into a cone. Now what I'd like to do is take a look at and see how this one falls, its flight characteristics, and see if it's any different. So let's try that. Okay, so now we see the cone is a lot more stable than just the flat circle that was falling. Uh, so here's the investigation. What can we do to the cone? What kind of changes could we make that would either make it fall faster or slower? Uh, that would be a problem that I would present to my students and then I would have them get into groups of two or three and they can brainstorm about how they would go about testing various um, variables, what kind of things we could change. Uh, what kind of things could we change? Well, we might look at changing the weight of the cone. Cones can be made heavier by adding something small to it or simply stacking more than one together. We might change the angle of the cone. Smaller angles to bigger ones can be measured fairly easily. To do that, I've actually made these cards up, which we could use. There's 30 degrees and 45 degrees, 60 degrees, 75, 105 degrees, 120, 135. That's probably about as wide as we can make it. Anything wider than that, it starts becoming unstable. So we could change the angle of the cone. We could change the color. We could try changing the size of the circle. We could make them very small and make the cones a small circle. We could make them larger. This size, we could make them extremely large. We could change the type of paper. For example, we're making it out of, uh, this is actually just copy paper. We could try magazine sheets. We could try newspaper sheets. We could try wax paper. We do measure the cone's weight and then adjust them just to make sure they all weigh the same. We might change the cone by putting holes in it. Another possibility is you can cut slits into the cone example, I'll put one here, and I'll put another one here. If we then bend the paper back a little bit, it would actually make little wings on it so that when you drop it, it would actually turn. Don't follow the terminal velocity, or at what height does it reach terminal velocity? So we might try it at various different heights. Time it measure the distance, uh, calculate the average speed, set it up a graph, and then look for the graph to, have, to level off at a certain place. So that's my uh, experiment for today. All right, thank you. Bye.